Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Big West Rages, coming back to y'all with another No Money Spent episode. And in this episode, I know it's been a little bit while, been been a little bit. Um, I want to go over something on Tuesday that happened, and I'm going to be opening packs in this video. I know I usually haven't really did like a pack opening this year. I did it like towards the end of last year. But I really want to show y'all how bad these odds are. And I really want to show y'all the the level of of just, you know, care that 2K shows, which is non-existent. Like, of, of this game. Like, this game is dying. I'm not going to, you know, we're going to go right into it and say this game is dying. It's dying quick. It is dying fast. And it's just 2K don't care. 2K don't care that Madden, you know, is is out here giving out daily content. They don't care that FIFA and MLB is hot right now, especially MLB. I see a lot of people in the 2K community leaving to go play base the baseball, you know, fantasy mode. With, I don't know what they call it over there. Uh, I know because this is my team, Madden got the mutt mode, but. It's, it's, it's thriving over there because it's actually rewarding to play, unlike 2K. I already gave out my Season 6 opinion and how un, like how unrewarding this, these game modes are and how bad these rewards are compared to the RNG cards. Like, the two best cards that people will want is Malik Sealy and this card, Steve Smith. But who really want to play... Hundreds of games just to get a chance to get this card. You might get them in one game. You might get them in 10 games. 10 games. You might get them in 200 games. You might not get him playing 500 games. And also to Sean Livingston, I didn't know how good this card was. I heard he's probably the best point guard in the game. That's the only praise I'll give 2K. That's the only praise I'm giving 2K today. I mean, well... Really, the only praise, yeah, 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 you're right, right. That's the only, you know, praise I'm actually going to give them today. So, Unlimited is the only game mode that's worth it. But it's still nothing but tacos and yaws and just cheese on top of cheese. If you don't have enough MT to get yow or taco, or you refuse to spend a million MT on yow, which I am refusing to spend a million MT on yow, which is kind of crazy because I spent... That's why I want to talk about Tuesday, too. That's going to transition to my next point. I have spent more than a million MT on packs so far. I opened these packs, the new packs that's today, Elemental Packs, you know, Jordan, Kawhi, you know, the Hero Cards, these other old bulls and uh, the Pink Diamonds. I really don't, I'm not really going to go over these packs, but just say Michael Jordan. This Michael Jordan is probably the best, one of the best cards because they updated his jump shot, but they didn't update this man's jump shot. You see where 2K minds go. This card is harder to pull, so they changed his jump shot, but kept his jump shot the same, which is just crazy to me. It's just like you want people to open packs. We see your agenda. We see what you're trying to do. It's going to work. We all know it's going to work. It's just, it's just annoying. I'm happy Dwight Howard actually got a card because his cards, I feel like, are kind of fun to use. It's just that he should have been power for it, slash small for it. And I understand that people saying, well, he'll be cheesy at the small four position. But I'm like, we already got seven foot, you know, you know, cards. We got Alex, you know, Poku. We got the other card. Um, Y'all yeah, probably gonna hear my son in the background. He's crying in the background. Yeah, y'all yeah, probably gonna hear my son crying in the background. I have to make this video. It's nowhere else for me to go to make this video. It is what it is. I can't. I can't control that anymore you know what I mean I don't you know I, I it was times where I didn't want to pop videos I, I would try to put at like make videos towards like two o'clock in the morning when everybody's asleep but I'm just I'm just tired at that point so I have to make it in a day y'all hear my son in the background that's what it is um uh Michael Jordan this is Michael Jordan like I said it just it just sucks but I already spent 200k because I was at 7.3 because I was at before two okay so the heroic packs came out I spent 800k on these packs. I know I, I'm I'm dumb because I was at 8.3 before these packs came out. I opened no 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 it was this pack. I spent like 800k between these packs and the last week promo packs with KD, right? I spent like 800k all together, 
and all I pulled was about like three, four opals. I did pull Boogie. I pulled this Boogie, the hero version Boogie. He did sell, and I'm actually going to redeem him now. 200k. He sold for 200k. I was like the fourth, fifth Boogie up there, the hero version. So 200, 207 for Galaxy Opal. That's nice. But that's really it. I didn't even pull, let me see, because I don't even think I pulled. I pulled Reggie Lewis. I pulled nothing but like two Reggie Lewis's. They sold like for like 10k, and I actually undersold the other one for like 5k. It is what it's all. I, I, look, I don't know what it is, but my pack luck has been bad. <laughs> and also, there's nothing else for me to do in this game that excites me or feel rewarding enough for me to do. And these packs don't even feel rewarding. It's just that I got so much MT, and it's like I just want to do something. It, it's just nothing to do. Like, it's, it's, why would I want to sit there and play 250 games just to get Jerry Lucas, who got a jump shot on normal, and they never fixed it? Or if they did fix it, my bad. But either way, a Jerry Lucas card for 250 wins, why would I want to play 30 games for a Pink Diamond Bobby Portis of, of Clutch Time Offline if he costs like 2K already? This, remember I told you, I already gave him the biggest stuff for this, but Opal Gordon Haywood is still, you know what I mean, he's not expensive no more because he's here. And I think this is an unauctionable card. So it's not like you get this card, excuse me, excuse me, you can get this card and sell it. I think every reward card is unauctionable. So it's not like you can get this card at all. So, also here you go, Galaxy Silver Bradley Bill. Why would I play 100 games for a Bradley Bill card? A 6'4" point guard slash shooting guard. He probably don't even got the best six. Even if he do, 6-4, bro. I don't, I'm don't. i not about to sit here and play 100 games for that. It's just it's just stupid. Like, bring back the two-week events. But they said they will bring those back. They lied. They said we're, we're going to they, – we, they worded it in a way where they say they're going to bring it back, but they're not obligated to put it back. Like, it's just 2K – that's why I say 2K don't care no more. It's like, what are you building this game for? You building this game just to chase all, all, all the hardcore players away, your loyal fans away? Like, you trying to push them away and just try to get new fans who actually don't care about that and just want to spend packs? I feel like that's what they're trying to do because what is – like, what are y'all doing? It's nothing – Nothing is making sense. We're not getting moment cards at all, but we got little Yachty. They released a little Yachty card. Where is he at? They released a little Yachty card. And at the day after the play-in tournament, great performances. Like NBA players, you know, giving it their all the night before they released this on Wednesday. And no moment cards to celebrate any of their perf uh, performances. I, look, I can't speak today. Leave me alone. I have speech problems, all right? <laughs> Not to celebrate any of their stat lines or nothing. But we get little Yachty, a Ruby. We're getting Ruby cards anyways. And then we're getting rappers. We don't want rappers. We want NBA players. Why is that so hard for 2K to understand? I don't even think I got Lil Durk. When Lil Durk came, I'm like, I don't even want Lil Durk. <laughs> like, what? I don't listen to Lil Yachty and Lil Durk. I think they horrible. I don't like them. I don't like their music. I'm not saying I don't like them as people, but I don't like their music. I, I can't stand the... Like, a lot of people sound the same to me. It is what it is. That's my opinions on rap today. I don't... I don't... I, I, I'm kind of over... See, I can't speak. I can't speak from Look, listen. Listen. I'm an old head when it comes to music. I really am. I listen to our 90s R&B, 2000s R&B. I listen to 2000 rap, uh, uh, 1990s R&B. I mean, rap, 1990s rap and all that. I do listen to some rappers, you know, new rappers. I do, I do listen to, you know, Jordan Lucas. Jordan Lucas. I listen to, what was it? I, I listen to Dax. I don't know if y'all ever heard Dax. I listen to, uh, I actually listen to Rod Wave. That's one of the, like, the newer rappers. Or he's not really, he's a rapper slash, like, singer. He, I put him, like, he's, like, in that Drake genre where he's a rapper slash, like, I don't know. I can't really call Drake a rapper, in my opinion. He's more of a, I don't know. It's not really, he raps, don't get me wrong. It's just, I put, like, Rod Wave in that category. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But either way, I'm getting off topic. Nobody wants a 
a rapper for a NBA game. If, especially if I'm watching a playing tournament and I play 2K and I like both, I'm thinking to myself, oh, we're going to get some play-in uh, moment cards. Nope. It just, and it's like we got a total of like what, like 30 moment cards? So like somebody did the math. It was like a 1,000 games played. It's like 30 NBA – no, is it 32 or 30? 30 NBA teams. No, 32 because I'm thinking of – NFL. Either way, I'm getting mixed up. Either way, 30 times 82, 3 times 8. I, I'm not doing the math right now. I'm not, I don't feel like pulling my phone. Either way, hundreds, if not thousands of games has been played this year. Like 30, 30 like moment cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, one, you telling me <laughs> 21 moment cards, 21. Are we even getting playoff moment cards or we're just going to get like one here and there or we might get like one, you know, whoever's the finals MVP, we'll get like a dark matter from him. That's it. It's just like. 2K, I'm telling you, 2K don't care. They do not care. If they cared, they would not do what they are doing right now. But either way, I got off what I wanted to say, what I did Tuesday, what I did Friday. I spent so much MT, and I spent 200K so far on these packs. I'm going to show you who I got so far. This is all I got, three pink diamonds and one opal. So I'm going to continue to open packs in this video. I'm going to try to keep track the best I can. I know I'm at 367. I'm going to keep that in mind. 7.7367. So let's let's do it. This is the first fact. I'm just show you how bad these facts are. Now, if I get lucky, I'm still going to tell y'all it, it took me a long time. Pink Diamond. At least let it be a Pink Diamond I don't already have. I haven't even pulled any hero cards so far either. This is Jeff Green. Jeff Green. Jeff. This is Jeff or Jay Crowder. Jeff. I already got Jeff, so I have to sell him for whatever he's going for. Probably a little bit. He don't even go for much, so yeah. Second pack. That's one pack down. This is the second pack. Who did I get? Absolutely nothing. And also, these are the odds too, by the way. We started getting under 2% odds for 99s. And you know what's the worst thing about it? No, oh shit. Oh, oh my god. I won't be no money spent no more. <laughs> I won't be no money spent except for that time I spent 11,000 VC. Like, thank God I do not play my career enough to earn enough VC to open that pack. Because, god damn. People would be like, oh, you not no money spent no more. You spent 11. Like, dude, it was, a, it was an accident. But, um, I mean, look. Yeah, beginning subpar 2% odds, by the way. And the, the sad part about it is you're most likely to pull this version of Michael Jordan, this Kawhi, or this Dwight Howard. And this Michael Jordan it is not only the hardest to get, but they need to start showing specific odds for certain, play, certain players because it's not right that this Michael Jordan is the best version of all these dark matters, but this have a pull rate that is so little compared to well, this pull rate is so like so little. I, I think that's the wrong term to use. The pull rate that is so bad compared to the other pull rates of these dark matters. Subpar two percent, more like subpar zero point five percent. That's how bad it is. And you know what's crazy? That subpar two percent can easily be anything in between zero to two percent. Well, one point nine percent or one point nine nine percent. That's the that's the that's the shitty part about this, and this eleven percent for opals. I spent uh, I don't know how many packs over. I spent like two hundred k before I even started this video. I just spent for another two packs. I only pulled one opal. This eleven percent odds, bullshit, bullshit odds. Eleven dog Stella odds had literally ten percent, ten percent odds. And that's another Jay Crowder. Why did I get the animation for Jeff Green but not Jay Crowder? Fix your game, 2K. 
But yeah, that's the third pack too. Stellar odds, ten percent. Opals was flying out of pack, pack out. Excuse me, out of packs. It was flying out of packs. <laughs> but eleven percent for these packs. Only thing that's flying out of packs is these pink diamonds. That's it. And NBA Series Two players. It doesn't make sense. They're literally manipulating. These odds are not even. It's not even truthful. I'd rather y'all just bring back unauctionable cards to let us get these dark matters, to let us get these opals. But when they banned everybody from the, you know, because buying MT, you know, when they banned all those people that was buying MT, they only did those odds to, like, basically give you a big F you to all the people that bought MT. Hey, we're punishing y'all, punishing you. We punishing those people that bought MT. We're punishing y'all. See, I'm not even saying these words right. I'm sorry, y'all. I got these pops. I can't even get it out. That was my fourth pack. I'm, I think that was my fourth pack or fifth pack. Fifth pack, maybe? See, that's why I told you I'm going to do my best. I'm a little slow when it comes to this. I'm going to say this is my fifth pack. I'll rewatch the video and just, I mean, I don't know. It's sixth pack, I guess. Because I'm already at 100K. Actually, less than 100K. Opal? Why are these still shaking, 2K? Why are Amethyst cards still shaking? Why? Why? Please tell me. Stop it. Get some get some help. So I spent like a hundred, ten, so like that's what is that? Like like ten pack? Not ten packs. Cause 15, 15, that's 30, 15, 15, that's 60, 15, 15, that's 90. So I spent, so that's six packs. So like seven packs, it's my eighth pack. I'm gonna say this is my eighth pack. This is my eighth pack. Like it just, it just don't make sense. This, this whole thing, look, look what I'm getting. Like stay away from packs, please. Do it for me. Don't even do it for me, do it for yourselves. Like save your MT, man. Like, a diamond card. Like, I am literally going packs. There should not even be, these fits, first of all, these packs cost 15,000 MT. These should be guaranteed packs. Because we all know, once you can't put guaranteed packs, it's going to be 21,000 MT. And they won't even put those in the game anymore. They really want you to just spend as much MT as possibly you can. Just give me an opal. Oh my goodness. At least let it be a new one. Because it's shook. This shook. And I feel like I already pulled this card. 22. I pulled this, man. I mean, at least it's an opal. Is that the opal? It's not no opal. I already pulled him, man. Why is it shaking? Well, I plan on going to 7 mil, so I, I spent 300. So, technically, I spent. Okay, Opal. Opal. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma. Oh my god, it's that the weird looking bull. No, who's this? Steve Nash. No. For the love of God. I'm not even pulling the best Opals. So, that's two Opals. I spent. 167 so far. I spent 204. So I spent 360 something, 67 thousand MT for two opals. Two opals so far. So far. Well, I feel like I got speech problems, dog. I feel like I can't speak. I hate when that happens. Like I hate that. I feel like why, why, why? Like why, why would I make my video? Why? Either way, it's like. Nope. Come on, man. I'm not going to pull nothing, right? Please let it be. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Like, you see how... I pulled like two of these, so like three of these. The two duplicates that I got didn't shake, but this one shake. 
2K can't even put enough care to program their game right. They can't even program their game right. They can't. It's impossible for them. It's impossible. This is just, it's crazy. This is stupid what I'm doing, by the way. This is stupid. It's stupid. I'm literally playing Madden over here. Literally opening packs, but making profit like almost every time. Even when I don't make profit, I'll trade that in for training or whatever, and then open packs, and then for, like I open so many packs on 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 Madden. And the fact that Madden packs cost so much more than these packs, and I'm still able to make profit or lose a little bit, and still able to lock in sets. I literally locked in for the 99 night train that that's they they, they just released. I sold him for 1.6 mil. I literally made my MT, I, not MT, my coins back, my Madden coins back, and I was able to get two free 98s in by exchanging my 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 98s that I built up by opening packs. And I made 200k profit too, by the way. 200k profit by opening packs, like. And this is this happens like almost every promo. Like I feel like this will happen. Like yes, you got to get lucky. So if I didn't get lucky, okay. But either way, I was still able to lock in sets and lock. And then they they will literally give me back two ninety eights. And if I pull a ninety six, I'm making that two hundred coins right there. These packs, bro, you're not none of these. Like, you're literally wasting, I can't, there's no way to make this MT back. Ultimate Team is a way to make your, your coins back. Easy way, too, like, like the easiest way to make your coins back. 2K, I'm not making nothing back. Look at this. Look. I can only open, like, six more packs here. My God, bruh. Give me a dark matter. Let me make my something back. Another Galaxy Opal. Steve Nash, bruh. Another Opal Steve Nash. There are other Opals in the goddamn game. Let's see. I pulled the... the, the, the I pulled three Opals. One duplicate. I got Steve Nash and Draza. There are literally Kyle, this Kyle Kuzma, this Jalen Williams, this Carl Anthony Towns, and this Kyle Kuzma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no, six, six. There's six opals, and I pulled two of them. Only two, and I actually got a duplicate. Pink diamonds. I haven't pulled this Bahama Bamba. And I haven't pulled this dude. And I heard this dude is good. You see how they can manipulate the odds? They make certain cards even on the lower tier harder to get. I'm not saying Matt and our Saints, but look at these other these other ultimate game modes. I see so many open so many people open packs on other game modes, and it's more rewarding. Playing the game over the, on every other ultimate team mode be rewarding. Man, ultimate team. I don't know. That's why I say they're not Saints either. They have their flaws, so sometimes it's not rewarding to play the game. But they give out free shit all the time, though, even if it's not rewarding or not. But it's something to do. 2K, they don't, they don't care. And I'm, I'm, I'm ranting like this because I want this game to be better. But I'm still, I'm getting fucking Diamond NBA City School players. There's like almost 20 damn cards in packs, and, I, and I'm literally pulling... This bullshit. Ah, oh, my head hurt. My head hurt, y'all. I'm so mad and so I'm just stressed out by 2K, man. My last like two, I'm not going under seven mil, and I'm I'm not going seven mil at all. So it is what it is. I'm keeping my seven mil until Invisibles comes, and that's I'm gonna have to make content if any other way. I'm not opening packs no more. It, it is what it is. This has been horrible, man. Horrible. I'm not opening packs no more, y'all. I'm not opening the packs no more. I'm not opening the packs no more. After I get under 7 mil, I might do 2 under because I think I can sell some shit and get back to 7 mil. But, like, I'll go 2 under 7 mil. And I got another Jay Crowder. There's 2 other pink diamonds in the game. 
but they're actually one of the best. They, they keep good pink diamonds just so you can open more packs for any other cards you want. Dog, this is horrible. No, I can't do this no more. After this, I'm not doing it no more. I can't. I can't do it no more, 2K. I'm broken. An opal, two opals. So one is going to be series player, series two player. The other one not going to be a series two player. Better not be Steve Nash, bro. Who's that dude? That's Kyle Kuzma. Please be Kyle Kuzma. This is Nikola Jokic. Okay, I told you. I swear to God, 2K. If these are two NBA series two players. You left it off on the wrongest note. This better be Kyle Kuzma. This look like Kyle Kuzma, bro. No, it's not. With the right shooting guard. There's six opals in the game. The four, the four opals that I pull, two times, one time a duplicate Steve Nash, the other time a duplicate Drazen. These are probably the worst opals. If this don't tell you that pack odds are manipulative, very manipulative, no matter what tier is in, or how bad, how shitty, how greedy, how obnoxious, how bullshit this company is, how terrible this company is, how big of a fucking dumpster fire this shit is, how big of a fucking trash dog, take the biggest trash can in the fucking world. Let's build that shit together and fucking put 2K in that motherfucker. The whole fucking company, the parent company or whatever, the devs, every fucking body needs to go in that fucking trash can, put the fucking lid on, throw that shit in the fucking Pacific Ocean. Fuck you, 2K. Fuck this game. I'm out.